Welcome to We Have a New Page Type Prompt Dialog. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, freshly home from uh, Directions in, in France. And uh, just want to say that it was super cool meeting all you, you guys out there, and thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Normally, I just look into the camera and uh, you see me, but I don't see you. Uh, so it, it was really cool to meet all of you, and thanks for that. Um, but the the theme at directions if you had to put a theme it would be ai or copilot if you grabbed any microsoft you should not grab uh, anybody but if you grabbed any microsoft employee and then squeezed them a bit the words that would come out of the mouth would be ai or copilot uh, all of them and um how did they actually do that in Business Central? Well, one of the things that um, we saw in, in all the cool demos were a, um, a new page that behaved very different from all the other pages in, uh, in, in Business Central. And um, that one time where I squeezed another Microsoft employee, neither AI or Copilot was the word that came out of the mouth. No, the word that came out was, "Hey, have you the you, Eric? I, I think you should do a video on the prompt dialogue page." Uh, and said, so, "Huh, maybe that's a good idea. So uh, why don't we do that?" And uh, for that, we need our trusty old Visual Studio Code. And um, I just filed up a new. Uh, a new extension here, and uh, I created an empty page. So let's create a uh, a new page. Prompt dialog test. How about that? That's a pretty good page now. Page name. So uh, page type because there's, it's a new page type we have, but we don't have it. Um, and, and I knew that, but but here's the thing. So this is not a new page in version 23. This is a new page in 23.1, uh, which is not necessarily out yet. So I'm actually running right now against a uh, the next minor. Uh, so you can see that my symbols here are called 23. Point two um, but if we look here we can see that there uh, there is not anything suggested newer than 12.0 but we can actually do 12.1 and if we do 12.1 I think we are able to hear now we get a prompt dialogue so we can do that. And then prompt dialog can only be used as the property extensible is set to false, which is the worst property a page can have. Because that means that we cannot extend it. Uh, so I, I'm not sure why, why that is. Uh, that seems weird. This page type, the only pages I think should be extensible false are like credential input, password pages and stuff like that. Uh, pages where you do not want anyone to snoop. Um, but if this is just general page type that can be used to ask something and get an answer. Uh, why should you be able to extend it? Um, so I don't like that. But um, the next challenge I uh, I discovered with this uh, this page, apart apart from has to run on twenty three point one on your, is that um, there's no documentation. But it never stopped us. So I did find find this. Uh, let's see if we can get it. To be so, this is part of the BC Tech 
uh, repo. So there is a source code for an item substitution demo here. So we can see so far there is a uh, those two. We figure those out by ourselves. Then there's something called is preview. So what happens if we do is preview? Specifies if the page is available as part of a preview release. I... Uh, I'm not sure I understand that. Let, let, let me read that again. Specifies if the page is available as part of a preview release. I mean, that if I say no, then it's only part of a release, not a preview. You know what? Let's ignore that. I have no idea what that actually... If you know what is the why this makes sense comments below please uh, but we can give a caption good old caption um, prompt test there we go that's a good caption what else have it on here now there's a prompt mode okay let's see prompt mode and we can say content prompting the use for input for the Okay, it's, it's better here. Promo ask the user for input. Generate mode. It will call the generate system action the moment the page opens. Uh, content mode. You can probably set this property by setting the variable cure page of prom mode before the page is opened. So hang on, there were three. So prompt. Content prompt. Prompting the user for input for the co What? Prompting the user for input for the copilot interaction. We'll try. So over here, then it says source table equal nothing, source table temporary equal to. You can have a source table for a prompt dialog page as long as the source table is temporary. This is this is optimal though. The meaning of this source table is slightly different from the other page types. In a prompt dialog page, the source table should represent an instance of a copilot suggestion that can include both the user input and the copilot result. You should insert a new record each time the user tries to regenerate a suggestion before the page is closed and the suggestion is saved. This way, the business central web client will show a new will show a new history control that allows the user to go back and forth between the different suggestions that Copilot provided and choose the best one to save. Okay, so let's go with outer source tape right now. So what, what, you, what you can see already here is that this is, uh, this is super specific. <laughs> uh, clearly Microsoft wanted to have a, a, a a stellar uh, prompting experience. And we saw in version 23.0 on the preview that was sitting in 22 point whatever, uh, a prompt build with a normal page and and apparently that was not good enough. So it's very specific. So I wonder if it can be used for anything else. Um, but I guess the next, if we go look at this, then there's the layout. Uh, so we, we do a layout. And areas. So we got a content area, we got a prompt, and we got a prompt options. And what do they do in this demo? They have a prompt area, a content area. So in content area, they have a, a sub page with something. Um, okay, so let's uh, do prompt, and we probably let's p. That's the prompt, right? We have to save characters. Um, so field p. Um, Show caption false multi-line true application area 
Maybe we just grab them from here. Now we've got a page full. Let's let's try it out. So this is page fifty one hundred. Launch JSON. We want to start fifty one hundred. Um, so let's see what and if anything works. Here's the thing. You're watching this video, so something will have worked. Otherwise, I would never release this video. Uh, so you know more than I. At this point in time, you actually know the future. I don't, which is kind of weird. Um, but so far, it's not really. You know, sometimes before I I create the blank extension, then I publish it blank just before I start recording the video, so we don't end up in this. You can you can jump thirty seconds and see what happens. Um, but while while that is doing its thing, we can see what else do they have here. So now they have actions also. System actions. Uh, so we could go and take a look at that while this one's... So here's the thing that I said publish and, and that is fine and this has been packaged and sent. So while that is packaged and sent, there's no issue in, in me saying, okay, now I just keep editing the file. I'm not changing what has been sent already. That is on its way. And I'm, of course, if I were to debug and I have changed all the lines, then the debugger will get really, really confused. Um, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. Uh, I log in. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we get a new page. There's a pencil and it says prompt test. So prompt, I believe prompt test was what we, I call this. Um, I cannot type in this one. Do I need to hit the pencil? I need to hit the pencil. Now I'm typing. Then what? I click this one. No. Terms of use. Uh, nope. That link does not work. Interesting. Learn more. I I'm using Business Central. Ah, no, I know. Uh, so. So, so far, that was not really that useful. So this was prompt mode content. So what if we go prompt mode prompt? Okay, so now we got a co-pilot uh, icon here with color. And I guess term of use is still the wrong link in this one. And now I can, I can close this again. So now it's just a place to type, nothing else. Okay, so let's, uh, on that, oh, no, uh, no, I said actions. Let's make sure that, let's just try this again without me putting any actions in here. I don't know if it's gonna behave you no know, because the one we had before had a keep it or something like that. Okay, so let's let's try uh, the last one. Well that was generate, right? Okay, so this goes into group mode, and uh, since we're not really doing anything here, we can say stop generating. Stop, 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 escape, something. No, nope. we cannot. We are generating for now, and 
So it's a nice little thingy. Okay. Um, so let's go back to prompt so we can type something. Uh, but it's probably the action part we're missing. So here we had area and now there's only one area here called system actions. So what does that mean? That means that we can say action or do we need to say system action? Aha. Uh -huh. What if I do action, by the way, just because test, caption, test. You cannot have an action in system actions. Okay, I guess that's, they did that for me. Okay, so let's do system action again. So what can we do here? We got attach, cancel, generate, okay, and regenerate. So let's create a, do generate. Um, and let's take a look at that, uh, what they did here. So they do something. They need a caption. Is it just me or is the, is this page so there's an application area here on the field there's no application areas on system actions is that just because there's no application area on wow on system action caption equal do something trigger on action message there we go hit a five okay we, we got the prompt okay did you see that that's a key. Oh, okay hang on okay let's do that again in slow motion let's do that again in slow motion because we we, ha we have a prompt right now we have a prompt we hit generate this one goes into generate and then we get the output I think which we don't have so now we in keep it discard so so generate switches from prompt to content so that would mean that if we created an area called content field and then let's create another variable c because we need to preserve now we go and say c equal 42, because that's what be good AIs answer. They answer with 42. So up here we insert C with an application area. We probably need to do the exact same thing here. We can always check if it breaks if we say, forget to say show caption, false. Okay, so we got a prompt. We got content, we got a generate function. And we are debugging once more. Prompt, blah, blah, tick, tick. do something, boops, boops, 42. Huh. Okay, so I wanted, I wanted the, the something, so let's just do, here, sleep for a second. What happens if we tell this dialog to take a break? So we, we do our pronto which we do something, and we get to 42, but maybe let's 
second is too too much. Do this. No passing. Ah, you see that? Oh, we're the really, really calculating and the answer to life and everything right there. Okay, but what if, so in the example, the content was, wait, so this, now I'm, I'm, we have 20 minutes, so we can cancel, we can generate, we can, we, okay, would mean that we accept it or something like that, uh, I guess, and regenerate. Okay, so I, th I think those makes, Attach this action is used. This the action used to include attachments to a prompt input area. Okay. Um, but let's think about the content thing for a second here. So the example from from BC Tech actually uses a. A sub page. Um, so load and say okay. Um, so that will mean that if for that to make sense, then we would have to do a. Um, can just let, let's actually just try and say the source table equal item and source table temporary equal true uh, and then instead of this beauty here we will do a repeater called rep and then we will insert some fields because we need some fields we need number uh description and how about unit cost and unit price there you go that's excellent so we run this so now <laughs> as we're going to say now i'm breaking it clearly controls of type repeater are not allowed in the content area for page of type prompt dialog Every time I want to, every time I want to break this thing, Microsoft is preventing me for it. So what if we create a sub page? Sub page which al. That's a page there. Item list. Uh, page type equal list part. Top list. It's better. Uh, source table equal item. Uh, layout area content. We want to repeat our again here. Uh, do I still have this thing here? Let me grab all the fields we spent so much time populating. There we go. Boom, boom. That's a sub page. Um, so here we go and then we do part, well, part, uh, items, and this is a uh, item sub list. Wow. Okay, there, there we go. Um, let's run this again. Nothing is linked here right now. Uh, Do something. Thinking, thing, thing, thing. Do, do, do. Come on. Ale generated content may be incorrect. Maybe a property saying that I want to use this 
this page not in a uh, AI content necessarily, but I, I, I want it. So, so we don't get all these things if it, they're not relevant if we're using the page type in a in a different in a different way. But I didn't realize I clicked net net change, but that's okay. Okay, um, there is probably many more things. Let's just verify one last time if what else they did here. Uh, have the actions on the setting the, the caption uh, in this case they they run some stuff set source uh, they call into the the sub page and and populate that with, with data so that's just normal sub page behavior um, yeah I think uh, I think that's the uh, that's the that's a look at the prompt dialog. Uh, so not available until you're on twenty three point one. So this was I, I ran this on a on a, a the what is known as the next minor. Uh, actually, I, this is the first time I've broken my rule about only using something that is well. I guess it's public now because you can. You can get it through BC Container Helper without having the, the special key and, and so on. Um, so if you try this in a 23.0, it, it won't work. It won't be available. Um, but um, that's the prompt dialog. So uh, here there, there'll be even more ale hacking. Go check this one out and I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.